Hi, I'm Janice Appleby, Chief Human Resources Officer here at Vizzo Financial. Welcome to HR Ready. Here is your HR question for today. According to the new overtime regulations that will be effective January 1st, 2020, the minimum salary threshold for the salary level test has been raised to A. $45,233 B. $35,568 C. $29,899 D. The minimum salary threshold did not change. The answer is B. After a three-year delay, the changes to the Fair Labor Standards Act, or FLSA, that were originally proposed in 2016 finally received a facelift. Starting next year, the Department of Labor, or DOL's, new overtime regulation will increase the minimum salary for employees to be exempt from overtime pay to $35,568 annually. That's a jump from the current minimum of $23,660. The 2016 regulation called for the minimum to be raised to $47,476 with an automatic increase every three years. However, the newest version includes a less significant increase and will not have automatic updates built in. Instead, the DOL will need to re-examine the standards on a regular basis to ensure they effectively test for exemption. The new regulation features a special rule for highly compensated employees to increase the minimum exemption from $100,000 to $107,732 annually. This applies in all states except for Pennsylvania, which doesn't recognize this exemption. In order for an employee to be exempt from overtime pay, the employer must perform three tests. One, the salary basis test to determine how the employee is paid. Two, the salary level test to determine how much the employee is paid. And three, the job duties test to see whether the employee performs specific duties that are excluded from overtime compensation. Based on the new overtime regulation, only the salary level test will be changing. The job duties and salary basis tests will remain the same. The new regulation will go into effect in just a few months, which gives your HR department some time to review employees who are currently classified as exempt and determine if they need to be reclassified because they earn less than $35,568. If you have employees who will not meet the new salary level tests, then you will need to decide whether to reclassify them as non-exempt and thereby eligible for overtime at the rate of one and a half times their hourly rate or increase the employee's salary to meet the new salary threshold. As a reminder, even if the employee passes the salary level test, they must also meet certain criteria in the job duties test to qualify for exemption under the FLSA. Overall, the regulation is projected to impact about 1.3 million U.S. workers. With that in mind, it's important to remember that employees should be informed of any changes made to their pay or exemption status. If an employee's status changes from salary to hourly, they will need to be prepared for changes such as tracking hours worked to ensure proper payment of wages. For more information on the rule changes, you can visit the following websites. Before you know it, January will be here and the new overtime regulation will take effect. It's a good idea to be proactive and start looking at how your credit union employees may be impacted. And now you're HR ready.